Now, wind turbines are the centrepiece for Dublin City Council's latest parkland to be found not far from here. A sustainable energy community project which promises something for everyone, from kids' playgrounds to fitness zones for the elderly. The project was designed by Argentinian architects and when work was in progress, the builders were given a helping hand from pupils from the local St. Francis of Assisi Primary School. It's a fantastic resource for any school to have on its doorstep. The park is where people from their cradle to the grave live uh, and play and we see this as being at the heart of this uh, local uh, neighbourhood that's going to emerge. My name is Assumpta Cairns and I'm principal of St Francis of Assisi Primary School in Belmain. St Francis of Assisi is a new school. It opened in September last year. Can I hold the mug? We have a number of children um, who are what we might call New Irish. Um, from a, we have about 12 nationalities in the school this year. I think there's something here for, for everybody. Up this way. We planted some alder trees up in the far end of the park. And we're here now planting some shrubs. When you come to visit the park, you'll be able to come and say, there's the tree I planted. So isn't that fantastic? Let's give a big bula boss. Okay, you ready? This part of the city had the last undeveloped area in the city of about 200 acres. It was decided to hold an international design competition to get the best ideas that were available from Europe and indeed around the world. This was the winning entry and they got the, the gig as it were. Avalero and Romero Architects in Argentina won the competition and MCO Projects were also a finalist. There's going to be flagpoles going here. The directors of Abelir and Romero and of MCO Projects came together to set up a company, Arak Ireland, to deliver the project. At the brief of the competition put a heavy emphasis on sustainability. We wanted a park which, if it could generate its own power, if it could treat its own drainage waters, if it could be sustainable in as many ways as possible. It's 55 acres, so I suppose all of the different uses are all kind of coordinated through one major spectacular feature, which is this promenade which goes right through the park that's surrounded by a lake. And then there are these five wind turbines. And that really generates all of the power for the park. Really, it's a showcase in renewable energy for, for Ireland. Well, we already had an existing woodland over along the eastern boundary here and along the northern boundary have an ancient hedgerow. So we tried to work on that and put back some of the species that were already contained there. So we've used oak, ash, birch, alder around the park. Eventually we'll have a town here the size of, I suppose, Dundalk, Waterford. But currently what we have is maybe a third of that. And already we have this fine park. We have a dart station to come on board at the end of the year. We've got a quality bus corridor adjacent. We've got two new primary schools. Already the area has become a very uh, sustainable, good community. Now it's time to Sundance! My name is Isa, I'm eight years old. The park in Cum Griffin, it's really small, so it will be better if, you, if the park opens here. My name is Elliot, and I love to have some picnic in the in the park and play football. <laughs> I'm so lucky and I'm eight, but it's my birthday in a week and three days. My name is Philip, right? And I am seven years old. Sometimes I like, mm, like going on my scooter, and sometimes I, and sometimes my scooter goes so fast that I can't even stop it. High music can go. Yay! <laughs> oh, we just about made it. The original parish will be about 35 years old, so we were kind of a maturing parish, and now we have a whole new influx of young life with young couples coming in. Well, Father Collins Park, called after Father Joseph Collins, and he was the first parish priest of Holy Trinity Parish in Dunamede. He really has set the, the groundwork foundation for what we're enjoying as a parish community today. <gasps> oh, I'm Katie 
and I'm four. Oh, when Father Collins Park opens, it's going to be a great facility on our doorstep because it is only less than five minute walk across the road and uh, with the f playing fields and all the even nature walks, we'll be able to come over a lot and it'll be very exciting for the children. Of course now it, it is new and it's raw and it will mature as the local communities mature. And I think you'll only see the best of Father Collins maybe in 20 years time when all these trees grow. And I think it's important to remember that we all need to work together so that it will remain a safe and a, a fabulous um, environment for, for generations to come. And Father Collins Park opens on the 27th of May. You can find out more on dublincity.ie.